Um, what does the energy system in 2030 look like? How do we get there? Well, the interesting thing, I think, is that 2030 used to seem like a long way away, but it, but it isn't. I, I was thinking this morning, uh, 2050 is the new 2030. Um, we're almost at 2030. As I think about this, uh, I guess there's three things that come to mind. One, clearly, wind and solar are going to grow real big. Um, and I also think not just land-based wind, but also offshore as well. We're going to see some big growth there. The question is, what about some of the other renewables? I haven't counted out geothermal, biomass, and of course hydro. Big, big, it's our biggest renewable today. Um, and we, there's a lot we can do with it to help manage the grid. I actually think carbon capture and storage um, is going to arrive in a fairly serious way by, by 2030. I particularly focused on what you can do with CCS in the industrial sector. We heard, uh, we heard Bill Ford yesterday talk about capturing CO2 from in, in their factories and using it to make plastics. ADM is capturing it today and doing stuff with it. Uh, Exelon is building a natural gas-fired power plant with carbon capture. So I think that's a, the second one. The third one, I'd say, and it really is a question, is where are we with nuclear in 2030? We will have pretty much run out of the, of the, the decades on the current fleet of, of nuclear reactors. Those will be pretty much gone. And in the US, are we going to be building the next generation? Um, I'm on a task force to the Secretary of Energy, and we've been asked this question, what would it take to have a next generation of, of reactors um, starting in 2030 at a multi-gigawatt scale per year? And we're trying to answer that question. What would it take in terms of policy? What would it take in terms of finance? What would it take in terms of, of uh, technology? And it's an open question, but, but I think we've got to answer it. And it may be a big public-private partnership that we put a lot of money into it. And the last thing I'll say is there's a lot of interest in the Congress these days on both sides of the aisle in doing that. And please, let's not forget energy efficiency, the, the low-hanging fruit. And as I like to say, it's, it's low-hanging fruit that, that grows back. You know, the incandescent got replaced by the compact fluorescent, which has been replaced by the LED. So let's not forget this in this discussion. So let me, let me ask you a pointed question. What percentage of the US energy system is decarbonized by 2030? Not enough. That's what I really worry about, is not enough. I, 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 you know, it all depends. Are we going to elect Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? That may be the biggest point of, of uh, transition.